Direct Inside DFW. Billy Bob's Texas opened more than 41 years ago and is known as one of the world's largest honky tonks. They've hosted some of the biggest names in country music and Yolanda Williams takes us there. Today we're at Billy Bob's Texas in Fort Worth and man, we're getting ready to have a little bit of fun at the world's largest honky tonk. <laughs> I am tired. Rhonda wore me out on the dance floor. Let me tell you, that line dancing, it, it, you have to be physically in shape. Yeah, well, if, you, if you're chasing a boy or chasing a girl, <laughs> I know. you can't go out there and not have your moves down. Marty, Travis, let me tell you, I understand you are the ambassador of all things fun here at Billy Bob's Texas in Fort Worth. Is that right? Well, I've been here 26 years. 26? And they keep bringing me back, so I guess I got something going. Okay, cool. I'm looking at this wall. You got to explain this to me. I'm seeing so many heavy hitters in country music on the wall. I'm looking at Loretta Lynn yes, right here. Yes. Oh my God. Dottie West has her little fake fingernails in here. Oh my God, look at that. that Dina Carter, mm -hmm. just a strong strawberry wine, uh -huh. put her feet in there. But what our marketing team did is they put QR codes mm -hmm. on every one of these. So if you go click on this with your phone, yes. the, the Dottie West story is different than the Emilio story. Yeah, absolutely. The Willie Nelson story is different than the Waylon Jennings Boy, story. Boy, if these walls could talk. If you look over here, we have Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Now, you know I love me some Johnny Cash. Well, I got a funny story I'm going to tell you a little bit later about Johnny okay, Cash. Okay, yeah, I guess that would Vince be a story. Gill, <laughs> Vince Gill put a golf ball in her row four, mm -hmm. and somebody stole my golf ball. Okay, so the official, the unofficial, official drink of Billy Bob is called a three-legged monkey. Okay. 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 And we told the bartenders, pour a shot of crown over ice, mm -hmm. tell them to shake it until the arm gets tired, and then three more seconds. Okay. Strain of crown, shot of coke, shot of sprite. Right. It goes down like Who's silk. Who's drinking that? Man, whoever. Not me. Well, well <laughs> it's really, it's crown coke and sprite. It's really simple. Oh, okay. But it's just the chill crown makes all the difference. Anyway, the guy that runs backstage is named Robert. <laughs> so Robert gets backstage when he Robert. orders monkeys. He says, he's hey, folks. He tells the waitress, hey, give me some monkeys. She says, how many? He goes, one, two, like twenty. Mm -hmm. And then she just brings back a big tray of monkeys. So we drink and have a good time with them. One of our VIP members' name is Jackie Swan. He comes I know Jackie, there, he's every Friday and Saturday night. His wife drops him off. Mm -hmm. He drinks a bucket of beer. He Ubers home. He's been doing it for 35 years. Every night he catches a pick or a drumstick or a set list or something off the stage. Right. So one day I said, Jackie, I have a vision. He said, Bring me all your picks. So I know they're in some box somewhere. You're never going to do it right, with them. Right. So I I'd, I'd made for him. Look at that. So you see the mosaic of the guitar. Right. But these are all concert use picks. So there's Willie Nelson and Alan Jackson. So he's been collecting these picks for how long? Uh, about 40 years. Man, oh man. And then here's a bunch of old backstage passes. Yes, yes. The people that have played here in the past. That's a good idea to here's keep Here's George Strait from 1983. Mm -hmm. Marvin Gaye played here. Conway. Ooh. Kenny Loggins. That's a Marvin Gaye. I love it. Chris Ledoux. Wayne Newton played here. Okay, so show me this, this bull you're yeah. talking about. Well, we're gonna, I'm going to show you the bull arena. Then the we're going to go arena. back and get you to stick to a different bull. Oh, okay. All right. Every Friday, every Saturday, live professional bull ride. Ooh, wee! Oh, so this is the green one. This is the green one. This is all happens. Oh, my goodness, where everybody chills out before the show. This is impressive. I can't say my walls look like this at my house. <laughs> This here's a 40-year history of Billy Bob's, starting, in, starting from the history of the building mm -hmm. all the way through Garth Brooks and Merle Haggard and Johnny Cash, Alan Jackson. These are our four owners. Mm -hmm. Here's Tim McGraw, Ringo Starr, Pat Green did our first record, Willie Nelson, B.B. King, Riley ZZ King, Top, yes. Riley King. Yes. Well, everybody, I had so much fun here in Billy Bob's Texas in Fort Worth. So much history walking. I mean, so many people have performed here in this space. So if you're in Fort Worth, you got to stop by. Come visit me and my friend Diablo here. 